Alrighty, comic 112 and the end of the binary jokes for a little while. Let's see here, 208, 209, Grieber. He's, he's counting credit cards, it seems, because they're quite small. I am your partner, back from the dead, to show you your heartless ways and help you experience the true meaning of Christmas. I don't have a dead partner, Jeff, and why are you wearing pajamas? Uh, I'm not Jeff. I'm a ghost. Wrapped in some sort of tinsel garland. So he's wearing a top hat, which seems to fit in the second panel. It doesn't seem to fit at all in the third panel. He seems to have sort of wrinkly scar type thing. I mean, he looks... I thought it was alright. He looks kind of dead, and I had to draw the different links to the chains and such. That So that was a thing I did. Alright, maybe it's not all that impressive, but I, I thought it was kind of kind of neat in the spooky the spooky voice. Now, what is... What is I'm a goo... What is that from? Where someone says that they're a ghost, but they say the word ghost in overly spooky voice. I know that's from something. This is one of those times where I'm convinced that something that I theoretically came up with was actually borrowed, stolen, uh, an homage, if you will, to another joke that I've heard at some point in my life. The most famous of which was at an improv show when I was I was doing a quick scene, it was just like freeze or something, and I was a mad scientist and I had a... a, a I'd basically s stolen a stolen a person from their life. And I said, "Ah, I've I'm I'm doing all of this." And I said, "Oh, professor, good. What what are you going to use to bring it to life?" And I said, "Aha, that's why you that's why you're here." So I said, "The first thing I'm going to need is a little bit of your blood." He says, "Oh, all right." And he you know, takes a little hypodermic syringe or something. So I take it. I said, "Ah, good, excellent. Now, the second thing I'll need is the rest of your blood." And everyone thought that was kind of funny, and I thought, no, that was pretty good. But in my mind, I kept thinking to myself, oh, I'll just say that because I've heard that somewhere, and I have no idea where I heard that. But I'm, in theory, I came up with that. But I just, I'm, it just felt too familiar to me to ever take full credit for it. So to this day, I still don't take full credit for it. But that's uh, neither here nor there. Note that Mr. Grieber's normal uh, double-breasted button-up coat is... Uh, no longer that. Suddenly he's wearing a moo moo in the third panel. Maybe he just should have worn a moo moo the whole time. That top hat really does not fit in the third panel. I, I've been over this before. I can't draw hats. So there he is, being a ghost. And I guess so. Th this obviously, for anyone who is not aware, this is obviously a play on the. Christmas Carol, first ghost, which is not the f ghost of Christmas past, but the first ghost who meets him is his is his dead partner, Jake Jacob Marley. Mm, Jacob Marley. Yes, we're gonna go with Jacob Marley. So Jeff is trying to be the Jake Jacob Marley. So I think I do really try to turn this into some sort of weird Scrooge, Ebenezer Scrooge plot, Christmas Carol plot. So again, you know, I didn't know this was gonna happen, but once I see it, then I remembered drawing Jeff like that, and I think, oh yeah, I remember doing that, but I can't remember if I did more ghosts, or if it just ended here. Really, I'm I'm as clueless as, as everyone, so. We'll see what happens tomorrow. In comment number 113. Still no binary jokes. Lame.